isa po sa mga madalas na tanong na itanong ng atin pong mga followers, ng ating mga viewers is yung kung ikaw ba ay dati ng mataas ang cholesterol, is it okay for you to go low carb, adapt a high fat diet or you know, higher fat compared to the normal diet kung dati ng mataas yung cholesterol mo? So it's a great question po and maiksing kasagutan, it is okay po, it's okay. Uh, as long as you have consulted again with your doctor and made sure na naaangkop para sa iyo ang low carb lifestyle, keto type of lifestyle at wala kang mga contraindications, in general terms, it is okay and should not be a source of concern kung dati na pumatas yung cholesterol ninyo and ngayon ay mag adapt kayo ng low carb, higher fat diet. And bakit po yan ang sagot? It's because yung cholesterol po nang gagaling sa ating pagkain really only makes up around 20% or so of the cholesterol that we eventually measure in our blood. So yung karamihang mas malaking percentage po ng cholesterol na nakikita natin sa ating dugo like yung um, you know when you do your blood work, ito po ay nanggagaling sa inside process na ginagawa ng katawan natin yung paglikha ng cholesterol from uh, ng ating intestines, so yung ating bituka and also our liver galing po sa mga raw materials from the macronutrients we eat. So ito po yung proteins, carbohydrates, and fats. So ito po, uh, it, it gets made up. Uh, yung cholesterol na yan, it gets made up from these raw materials and that makes up around 80% nitong cholesterol na nami-measure natin sa ating blood. And the 20% come from our diet. So ngayon, bakit safe ang pagkain ng higher fat. Well, important thing to consider again, uh, pagdating po sa metabolism and fat deposition, fat production, the main hormone pa rin na responsable is si boss insulin. So if we're eating the types of food na hindi naman gaano nakaka-stimulate kay boss insulin, then hindi rin ito nakaka-apekto ng fat production natin and obviously, hindi rin niya maapektuhan yung onset ng mga disease states po na gusto nga nating maiwasan like diabetes, high blood pressure, itong pagkakaroon ng higher cholesterol loads and then of course yung mga iba pang sakit like dementia, cancer, all these um, states po. Again, it's important to consider yung pinaka driver po ng ating metabolism which is boss insulin. So it's better to focus on having this proper uh, nutrition regimen uh, in terms of mas mababa po yung fat production and this is by eating yung ating mga low carb food, low net carb types of food, moderation in protein and of course higher in fat content para po tayo ay makarating sa tinatawag na fat adaptation state and when, once we are fat adapted ang ating body ay sanay na ginagamit na gasolina or fuel ang fatty acids compared sa glucose na nanggagaling sa ating mga refined sugars, yung ating mga high net carb, then mas efficient po yung regulation ng insulin, mas less po yung tendency na tayo tataba and in that way, less din ang posibilidad na tayo ay magkakaroon ng mga sakit na yon. So, it is okay to eat natural fat. Matatagpuan po natin yan sa ating nutrition guide. If you don't have it, please download. Please join our community sa Facebook, yung Level Up Wellness Community. Nandiyan po ang link sa baba. Join po kayo for more guidance. And in that community, we talk about yung mga good fat, ano ba yung mga pwede natin kainin, things that will help us optimize yung ating metabolism without adding to the burden of disease. So kahit na kayo yung may mataas na cholesterol, base sa laboratorio, pero kayo ay nag-adapt nitong low carb lifestyle, intermittent fasting, of course, regularly moving, exercising, and doing stress reduction strategies, then for sure po ang inyong high cholesterol problems ay magkakaroon ng solusyon. So always consult with your doctor. Make sure that you have clearance bago po simulan ang mga strategies na nabanggit ko.